going on YouTube. Um, I happened to make a very depressive, very sad video today. Um, so I got off the phone with my gym, my MMA gym currently. And before I even get into anything, the reason why I even signed up at the gym in this first place was because I was waiting too long to have to try Star Wars for us. And I felt this. I can't explain it. It's an itch you feel where you just feel like you just have to do it. Like time is, is running out. You just have to learn. It's a very weird itch. It's just the back of your head always bothering. You just feel like you have to go. And um, so the only reason why I signed up is because of this itch. I didn't even want to go. I just wanted to go to TriStar, but just didn't have enough money. I'm saving up money. I worked two jobs for this fucking TriStar gym, so I'm still not there yet. And I went to this gym called Training Zone, and... It was because it was right near my girlfriend's house, and I'm always there, so I'm like, you know, let me just go to the gym, and I really liked it, it was a Renzo Gracie affiliate gym, and it was a cool gym, and I had a couple of uh, my boys sign up, I recommended them to the gym, and I liked it, man, I'm not gonna find, I liked it, it wasn't going to be my camp, my camp was always going to be TriStar, like from day one, everyone knows it, you guys know it, it wasn't going to be my camp, but I just wanted to gain some MMA knowledge, but... I'd be a liar too because I also planned on leaving the gym to head to Renzo Gracie's BJJ after my one year contract had signed up. I had a contract contractual obligation to show up, so I was just waiting for my one year contract to show up. And it's January, my contract ends in March. So I was just I just wanted to come to the gym just to build a foundation of knowledge for MMA so I'm not completely blown away and washed out by the tough guys and athletes in TriStar. So I signed up at this gym and I liked it. You know, there was Taekwondo, there was uh, Jiu Jitsu, Muay Thai, and everything was going good. Um, it was a lot of money though, man. I had to put like 250 down, 150. Oh no, I'm sorry, I had to put no. That's a boxing gym. I put 250 down. I ain't put no down payment. I just paid 150 a month, which is fucking expensive. So expensive, especially from a guy right now. Like before, I was working at KFC and Applebee's, but the majority of that money went to savings for TriStar. Once I quit Applebee's, I was at KFC, and I, just, I was able to pay for the gym, even though it was a lot of money. And now it's just, I don't have a job, I'm unemployed, I just train, man. Money's getting really tight, and I don't want to come from the savings with TriStar. And, like, no no disrespect to Conor McGregor, but I'm not hopping on welfare and unemployment because it gives me a bad look and ruins my honor and my the respect of my name. No disrespect to them, but I don't want to do that, even though I'm broke. And so I decided to freeze my account with this gym in August. And when I froze my account, I talked to the receptionist and she knew what it was up. And I said, I'm freezing my account, man. I'm just going to, I just box for a couple more months. You know, I'll be back soon. And she was like, when are you coming back? I said, I'll let you guys know. So I called today, getting ready to go back. And um, they tell me that I owe $745. I struggle paying 150. Now, my mom helps me out to pay 150. So when they tell me that I have to pay 745, I'm blown away by when I have to pay 745. So I'm asking, why do I have to pay 745 dollars? Oh, because you only froze your account for one month. Which is a total lie. I know it's a lie. I didn't even entertain her at that point. I was trying to catch her in her lie, and I was like, "What do you mean?" She was like, oh, "I signed a contract for one month. I never signed the contract." And it was just a lie, you know, a blatant lie. She said she tried charging my account, but they never charged my account for 740 They didn't charge my account any month. And so I'm hurt right now. And the reason why I'm hurt is because I really like the gym. I really like the coaches. I really like the students there. But the fact that they're trying to lie on me and, uh, like, squeeze money out of me, what a blatant scam is, is harmful and it hurts my feelings. It really hurts me because even though I plan on leaving the gym, I would... I was going to come occasionally visit, you know, and I like the people there a lot, man. It's, really, I did, man. And the coaches were great, man, but I just can't believe they tried to scam me, you know, and it was just, like, I know I don't owe $745, and I froze the account. How could you unfreeze the account when I told you I'll let you know when I'm coming back? I never said one month, and I talked to my girlfriend about it, and my girlfriend knows, like, she knows it's a scam. I talked to my mom about it. My mom is furious. And I just, I'm leaving now, man. It, it kind of gives me a bad look because 
I made my boy Sean sign up at the gym, and I made my boy Kevin sign up, and I really like the gym, but I guess it's over with, man. I guess it just wasn't meant to be, and I, it sucks that I have to leave on bad terms with them, you know, but they weren't going to be my camp, and it was just to gain some MMA knowledge, like, in terms of technique and fighting, and I did that, you know, and yeah, my heart is broken that they did because I did, I wanted to come back and just learn a little more, man. I really enjoy Taekwondo and Muay Thai and Jiu Jitsu, and they have Renzo Gracie affiliate gym, and we all know Renzo Gracie. Renzo Gracie's gym is the best at using Jiu Jitsu. So you know, Coach Casey was awesome. Coach Manny for Taekwondo was awesome. My boy Jay was awesome. Coach Eddie for Muay Thai was awesome. All the people that were awesome, man. And I'm hurt that they they really tried to pull this little fast one on me with the hidden fees. To freeze my account, all I did was I gave the lady 20 bucks. She says it's 25. I gave her 20 bucks and said, I just want to freeze my account. And, you know, she asked me, when I coming back? And I said, I'll let you know, you know. So how could you tell me it's one month and then ask me, when am I coming back? If you knew I, if it was one month, why didn't you tell me? I wasn't told this. And it's like, I'm 20 years old. I, I'm not an old guy with fucked up memory. I remember everything. So you're not going to sit down here and tell me. You know, I told you when I remember that day clearly. It was August. It's now January. I'm not. It's not two years ago. I remember everything about that day so clearly. And they tried to pull a fast one on me, and I'm I'm very hurt that they tried to hit me with this hidden fee and this blatant lie. And they're telling me in order for me to get back in the gym, I'm have to cancel my account. There's a two hundred fifty dollar cancellation fee, and how I would have to talk to the head coach Manny about it and all this shit. And it's like she never confirmed that I was gonna be able to go back to the gym. She just said she has to talk to Manny about it. So basically, pay seven hundred fifty dollars plus cancel my account for two fifty. You're you're nearing thousand bucks. I don't have. I don't even make that at KFC in one month. Now I'm unemployed. I don't even make that at all. Period. I'm unemployed. I have no job, and I don't have enough money to pay for this gym. And it isn't worth it. When it comes to a TriStar gym, yeah, you pay a thousand dollars. This is not a camp. There's no open gym here. It's just classes. Like it's just. My heart is broken that they tried to pull this one on because I really did like this gym and So this is my farewell message to everyone at Training Zone. Um I do believe that I'll get into the UFC. I prayed to God last week actually I had a good conversation with the Lord and you know, I told them, you know, to direct me in the path that you want to take over my life and guide me in the road you want. So maybe his plan was obviously not for me to go back to the gym because this wouldn't have happened if, it, if he didn't want it to happen. So this is all part of God's plan. So God bless you, Manny. God bless you, Coach Manny, the Taekwondo instructor and the head trainer of the gym. God bless you, Coach Eddie from Muay Thai. God bless you, Coach Casey. I always liked your, your sarcasm. It was funny. You know, and God bless everyone at the, at the gym and training zone. I hope I can make you guys proud, but this is the end of an era. Renzo, Gracie, BJJ, I planned on going there anyway. I can't wait to train with you guys. And Faraz Zahabi, I'm coming. I know you're waiting for me. Your gym is my camp. You're, you're the greatest coach ever. It was a nice training here at training zone, but... Renzo, Gracie, and Tristar coming in.